Um, this is a problem. We're gonna have to rebuild our farms afterwards. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Everybody, welcome back, Falcon! Rebuild three gangs of Deadsville. We're doing... Honestly, we're doing really good. I really can't complain about how well we're doing. Um, we have Kara McCoy over here training to be more of a scavenger. She should get up to level 2 really soon, which hopefully happens because I want to move her to farm and I'm going to have her become our scavenger really soon because um, we are in need of scavengers and more researchers to get some more ammunition crafted. We have a lot of fighters, but not a lot of everything else. But again, we only have one school reclaimed, so we can't really train people in more than one. We can't really train more than one people at a time. We need to get this other school under our control soonish because I'm worried that these um, hippies over here might actually grab that before anything else. Big office tower over here. So after we... what are we doing with Harriet? What's Harriet up to? Oh, she's over here in this crowd? Where's Harriet at? Yeah, she's over here fighting the, mo the zombies mob. I don't think that's really required. Harriet, I wanted Harriet to reclaim the big farm for us, but... I also want the school. I've, I've been kind of like in a tussle and trying to figure out which one I wanted to do. There's no zombies here now, so you know what? Let's start this mission. We'll reclaim with Harriet, obviously. That's going to take you how long, Harriet? Two days. Perfect. She's so fast at reclaiming now, and you guys are still, should still be fine, right? Yeah, 0% danger from 18 mobs dead. We'll go forward and see what we have here. We're going to have a trade really soon. Here comes the uh, pig farmers again. Traded with Gustav. Gustav jumped down from the lead truck and shook my hand vigorously in both, in both of his. It's good day for deal, he shouted. Then he slapped a meaty arm around my shoulder. Come, I show you what I find. Many good things for you. Um, ask if he needs anything. Gustav seemed to be about to say something, then just shook his head. No, no deals today. Alrighty, so let's go to trade, and uh, let's do our super haggle. So we have absolutely no markups now. Perfect. All right, Gustav. Let's see what I need and what you need. You have another hammer and you have a submachine gun. Submachine gun would be 25, huh? Sledgehammer would be 10. Sledgehammer is actually not too bad, honestly. Kind of would love to get another one. And you also have another hammer as well. Okay. We have food, a lot of it. So, if I gave you 19 food, it would be 19 value, huh? I'm thinking we do 20 food right now. Materials we kind of need to reclaim more areas, so how about we grab eight materials and ammunition we're kind of low on. Let's grab like five more bullets for now. We're up to 13 and 20, so we're grabbing what? Grabbing some good materials, we're grabbing some ammunition, I'm giving them food. Eight materials, five ammunition, and fuel? How much? What's our fuel doing like, two? Sledgehammer would be pretty nice. Uh, that would pick us up to 23, so we'd need to give him three more food to make that happen. I could do that. So we'd give him 23 food for the sledgehammer, eight, mater um, eight materials, and five ammunition. I think that's a really good trade. Let's do it. The trader, the trader was the trader was a hard sell. What? The trader, the trader, <laughs> the trader, trader. Okay, the trader trader was a hard sell, but I think we managed to get a decent deal out of him. He may not like us much, but at least he should at least respect us. So we got one respect, we got ammunition, we lost a lot of food, but that's okay because we're still um, bringing in positive amounts of food right now. We got eight materials and we also got one extra equipment. So let's stop here really quickly. And uh, we got another sledgehammer, which um, could be useful for Harriet unless she already has a sledgehammer. I don't really quite recall what she has. She has the saw only. The sledgehammer would give her two and two. Again, she'd probably reclaim stuff a bit faster, but you know what? Let's just keep her with the saw. I think it kind of works out a little bit better. Uh, and I'll give the sledgehammer to one of my fighters who doesn't probably have anything like... Uh, Latifa has something now. Andrea Anderson, I don't think she has anything. So we'll give you the sledgehammer we just picked up here. Or at least I'd like to give you the sledgehammer. Did Andrea really give the sledgehammer? Uh, don't edit the mission. Go to Harriet instead. Alright, go away. Harriet. Equipment. Yeah, she does have it. I want the saw instead. There you go. Done. Done. Back over here, and Andrea Anderson, you will equip this sledgehammer. Are you fucking... Fine, I'll just forcefully take it out of, um... So, oh, you know what it was? She has the saw and the sledgehammer equipped. That's what happened there. I get you. I get you. Yeah, so you can equip the one item and one weapon. I see what the problem was. I get you, but... 
You know what? I guess I just took the sledgehammer off of her by force then because, um... Didn't I just buy one though? No, no, that's not right. Who has this sledgehammer? Ashley Raimi, which she's always had it, and then this sledgehammer... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So one item and one weapon. That's good, good to know. See, I'm still learning. I mean, I, I'm doing okay right now, but I, I still have a lot to learn, obviously, so... That's good. We're up to level 2 over here scavenging. Once she's at level 3, we'll probably pop her out of This is up to level 4 now. We have Gustav down here again. And we are done with the Zed. Just about. Alright. Research generator power. Hospital, prisons, and government buildings, fancy condos, and rural homes often have gas or diesel power generators for backup power. We don't have enough to provide electricity every home, but we've set up a system to power our workshops and other essential buildings during the hours we need them. So we have 10% faster workshop crafting, which is pretty good for the bullets that we've been trying to build here. And we killed the Zeds over here, which is fine. Uh, we have a level up by Andrea. Andrea Anderson, let's see here. I'm getting closer to Andrea Anderson. Today she told me, back when the world made sense, I was a receptionist for the Spine, Torque, and Fail Law Firm. Uh, these guys took ambulance chasing to a fine art. Actually has paid off some guy at the hospital dispatch. Problem with spending so much time with the injured is that sometimes they die on you, and when the dead start getting up and walking, things get ugly. Andrea can get a new perk. What should it be? Bookworm. Research, burst, plus two engineering from books. Well, you're a fighter, though, so... That's not gonna work. Fire items. You know, she has a sledgehammer, so hand-to-hand -hand combat seems pretty good. Oh, when no weapons are equipped. Never mind, then. Pistols or machine guns? Uh, which one did I pick? <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't pick anything yet. Did I, I guess I picked something by mistake. What did I get? Firearms training? That's fine, that's actually the one I was gonna go with, so I guess I'm not too exactly heartbroken about it. Alrighty, and you're learning that. Research is done. So, let's see about researching some more here, my friend. Mm, which one do we want to go with now? Let's see here. Done. Check out our research tab. So, we have construction, we have regenerator power. Next is fertilizer, extra food from farms. We have searchlights, attracts more survivors, irrigation, prevent drought. Craftable ex entertainment. Prevents pest, uh, extra food on farming mission, and 1 plus, or uh, 1% bonus food production per level, repeatable. Electrified walls, improve fort wide defense. I think that's the one that I wanted for our defenses, right? So, oh, I don't think I could get that? Oh, I probably need to improve walls and this to actually make that happen. So I guess we're going to have to get the watchtowers up and running after all. Fertilizer, extra food from farms, that, not a bad thing either. Fertilizer. Watchtowers. Yeah, but I want the fence, so let's go with the watchtowers then. So construction is what we're going to go with, right? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, you, my friend, are going to go into researching and... Fertilizer or watchtowers. We're gonna go with watchtowers then. And we're done. Oh, one survivor? Well, it was him. Same dude. Alright, so you research that. You're learning and scavenge a bit more. You're still farming a bit more. And then you're reclaiming. And then you guys are done fighting zombies, right? Correct. So, once you reclaim this, we're gonna go for the farm. So let's make sure that the farm is still cleared up. Two zombies. So let's take care of that now. And we will kill those zombies, so by the time she's done, we can just come in here and reclaim easily. Not a big deal. Oh god, she gave up on us again. <laughs> this is the downside when it comes to Harriet, and she likes to take time off. Oh, she's gonna be done for two days. Fuck. And she didn't even finish reclaiming the McNoodles, too. Did she? Ah, oh, fuck me. Hefe, can you actually, um, reclaim for us? Yeah, you can. It just it should be just about to be done anyway. There we go. Magnoodles has been reclaimed. Excellent. Alrighty. So you know what? She's not gonna do it, but at least Hefe was able to finish it off for us. Um there's the you know, we haven't really talked to these pig farmers too often. Let's have Hefe come over here and do a little trading with them to kind of uh, build up our I guess our sociability with them a little bit. And then you guys are gonna kill zombies. Terror underground. <laughs> Zooey was taking a midnight stroll through one of our farms when a hand suddenly burst out of the ground and grabbed her leg. She managed to get away, but it looks like we've got something worse than your standard garden pest in our hands. We did some digging and found that the zombies have been tunneling under the wall. We can probably collapse the tunnels, but may need to rebuild our farms afterwards. Holy shit. Um, this is a problem. We're gonna have to rebuild our farms afterwards. Ooh, boy, oh boy. And the thing is that right now, um, 
Harriet is um, pissed off, so she's going to work for three days. And we're kind of low on food because of my last trade. You know, we just have to plug up the exits right now. We did our best to patch up the openings we could find, but the tunnels are still down there and our walls don't hold. Won't do much good if a zombie can crawl right under it. Hopefully this won't come back to haunt us. I hope that's not like, you know, painting a grim picture as to what a uh, mistake I just made right now. But we can't really afford to lose our farms right now because, again, Harriet is, um, you know, taking a little bit of a sabbatical. Trade with pig farmers. I went out to meet the pig farmer caravan and see what they have for sale. Farmer Bucket happened to be there, making sure nobody steals anything, as he put it. So let's ask if he needs anything. Farmer Bucket didn't want to give anything away, so he brushed it off, but it's clear from the looking at their supplies that they're low on ammunition. Ah, so are we. I bet they'd pay extra if we could spare any. So let's go to trade. We'll do a super haggle. 15% markup. Alrighty, it's not great, but it is what it is. They have food. That's all they have, huh? Just food. Eh, you know what? Alright, if I gave you four of these bullets, it'll be eight? Ah, I don't know, man. I don't think that's really good. Nah. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm just gonna give them one, just because I want to kind of build the um, respect with them a little bit. So, let's go and uh, I'll take two food for one bullet. How about that? And we got a little bit of a respect with them. Um, the weird pig farmers we traded uh, with handed us the pork through the side hatch of their battered ice cream truck. That's really terrifying. Uh, ice cream truck handing pork. Or meat, just in general. It still surprised anyone has any food left these days, let alone this delicious freshly butchered meat. Funny color, but smell like heaven when you roast it. Mmm, bacon. I really hope that that is not like human meat that we're, you know, getting handed over here. That, that little comment made me kind of question a little bit that whole, ooh, it's kind of weird to see freshly meat. It's kind of like, wait a minute. Alright, so Meg Noodles has been reclaimed. Zombies have been killed from over here. Hefe, if you were to try to reclaim this, how long would it take you? Eight days, yep. As suspected. And I don't think we have enough, um... Do we have enough um, items to actually reclaim this area? Four, we do. Start working on reclaiming, and then when Harriet is done being a little bitch over here, we'll have her come and give you a hand. I think that's pretty good. Um, now, in terms of... Oh, we haven't scouted this area out. And have we scouted this area out? We have. Alrighty, so let's do this. We'll send a scout over here. Mm, Andrea, go and check it out. And let's go and check this bar out as well. We'll start scouting some of these areas out for us. Uh, Zuli Davis, you go check that one out. And let's see here, what's going on in the suburb? We have a possible survivor, a few things to kind of capture, and then Zorgas, we have a few zombies here. Let's go, there's another warehouse too, that would be pretty good for us as well. Oh, you know what though? Never mind. School, we want the school. So, trailer park has zombies, let's go and kill those guys. Kill nine zombies, and you shouldn't run into any danger, right? Zero, yeah, we're good. So let's go forward. Once she's level 3, we'll be able to get her, get her out of there, too. We have the hippie dudes. We have a Zed farm over here. Dangerous Liz Mass Zed. And we have a level up by Malcolm Anderson, hopefully. Malcolm, Malcolm Anderson looks like he fucking needs some clothing and, like, a meal, man. Holy shit. Malcolm Anderson and I had to talk. Had time to talk earlier today again. He was saying earlier, before the outbreak, I struggled to survive just like now. Oh, wait, we already read this before. Let's go forward. Being on the streets when the Zed started to show up was a good and bad. It meant I was better at taking care of myself than most of the juppies you could no longer get their lattes, let alone clean drinking water, but it also meant I didn't have too much uh, to fall back on. Still, when people leave their houses in a rush, you can usually find something to fill your belly and stuff uh, with stuff they left behind. Malcolm's ready for a new perk, which one? Green thumb, bonus food while farming. Camper, sleeps under the stars, does not need a house. Ooh, and first aid, reduced chance of death on missions. Well, you know, since you don't really go out on missions too often because you're usually just, um, researching, I want to say that Camper might just be better because Green Thumb, he doesn't farm. So I think Camper's gonna actually help out. It'll give us, like, one extra home. So, yeah, let's get Camper. Alrighty, perfect. And Zed over here. And you guys are just killing zombies. Are you gonna almost be done here? Yeah, you're almost done. Alright. So once you're done, you're gonna come over here and kill these zombies. Everybody's done. Spotted resources, zombies killed. We have another level up. Cool. Kill those zombies first and foremost. This is going to be what? 0% danger. Oisha has another upgrade. 
Alright, so we were at the first part, let's sit right out the second part here. Trusted pigeon carcasses for necklaces, a handful of blackberries for earrings, half a dozen suspect mushrooms for a pair of cufflinks, we offer you the best deals this side of Seattle. Anything, nothing, really, pa. That goes for you and every sob story in this joint. I don't know why I bother. What perk should Aisha get? You know, I'm sorry Aisha, okay? I don't really go into your hippie lifestyle where you're gonna sell me berries. Earrings made out of berries, right? I'm pretty sure that after a while they're gonna kind of expire and sink a bit. Just throwing it out there. Negotiator. Occasional bonuses while trading. Firearms training. And... Commander. All survivors gain- oh yeah, this is good. So we'll give her a commander perk. Excellent. And you guys are fighting this over here, and you're farming. Are you just about done being a little bitch? <laughs> Under a day left. Okay. Good. And you guys are done scouting over here as well. So... Let's see about scouting over here. And... Another apartment complex. Let's actually scout... One second. Nope, nope. Ooh, what the fuck? Man, we could build a lot of stuff now. Um, we already checked this out. So I guess we could probably check out this apartment complex here too, right? So you go and scout that. Perfect. And researching... Are you almost at level 3, Kara? Oh yeah, she's almost there. Cool. Go forward. Alrighty. Oh, here comes one of the big Zeta attacks. Oh shit, natural disaster as well. After months without service, an old sewer... Oh, we got some good stuff out of it though. After months without service, an old sewer main overflowed last night and flooded our church, destroying the supports and leaving the building pretty much unusable. We salvaged some building materials from it, but that's it. We're going to need to send some builders to clean up the area and put something new if we want to use that space again. I really wish we had some hazmat suits to give them. Three-year-old sewage is a special brand of toxic. And pretty fucking smelly, by the way. So I thought it was a good thing it's not. <laughs> I know we got some building abilities out of it, but... Or materials out of it, but... We did lose a church, apparently, so let's stop here, because we have a lot of people that are devout. So that's gonna be kind of bad. Where did this kind of, um, happen, though? Where did this happen? Oh, over here. Fuck me. Alrighty. Well, Harriet, I need you to up and running kind of soon. So for now, we're gonna have to just kind of wait it out. This over here worries me, so... Zombie killing almost done over here. This is gonna come down into this area. Why don't you go after the uh, hip hippie farmers? How about that? Zombies killed, back to work. Excellent, alrighty. Uh, pick farmer? Or not pick farmer, but... Do we build the church first, or do we get this um, area reclaimed? I'm gonna say we go... Did you guys reclaim the um, school? I hope you guys didn't, you fucking hippies. That's my school. Let me have you come down over here and reclaim this area. Because I kind of want to get to that school before the um, hippies over here do it first. And then you guys are going to come down and hang out... ...over here for now and just guard this side. Alright, so we got a few more scouted areas, which is always good. Um, so that's scouted out. Let's send you to check out this office area. And then... Another church up here. You come and check that church out. Okay, let's go forward. Here comes the zombie mob. The school hasn't been reclaimed by them, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's in there. Is it? Or is this building when it's reclaimed? I don't know, man. I'm, so, I'm going to take it by force if it comes down to it either way. I'm sorry to say. Um, so you guys are scouting. The zombie attack is really imminent. What happens if we attack them? Oh, we can't. So, we just have to kind of guard it out, don't we? Alrighty, I hope you guys are done scouting soonish. You're not going to be done down uh, soon. You're still under a day left. And you're up to level 3 now. Excellent, and you're the farmer if I am correct. So, let's get you out of farming. Let's have you just kind of hang out here. You're going to come over here and just farm away, because you'll have a bigger supply. And now you can scavenge freely, or you could actually farm for us as well. I'm going to say scavenge though, because... This grocery area... Had a lot of good stuff for us, so you can come over here and scavenge. Alright, and then you guys are going to be ready for this attack. You're over here reclaiming. I hope we can get them freed up before this happens. Do we have any... Isabel Wang? Okay, you know what? Let's have you join up here again, and then what I'll do is I'll have Isabel Wang. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just keep, um... We'll scout that later. This is more important right now. So we'll go forward, make sure we find, fend off this um, assault over here. You're researching and then you're scavenging, you're scouting. Where's still Hefe at? Oh, he's trying to reclaim that. And here we go! 
The Zed's numbers are no match for humanity's resolve. We met them head on and used our improvised spikes to make a set of zombie shish kebabs. <laughs> good. So everything seemed to be pretty good. Nobody got hurt as well. Excellent. Zero danger. Nice. Alrighty, so stop this out. Here comes the hippies again. And you're over here reclaiming and you are reclaiming as well. And you are done scouting. So how about you come and scout this area out that I don't think we finished scouting to begin with. Which is the church. Okay, and this could go away, this could go away. And you're gonna farm, and you're scavenging, and then you're researching. Okay, now what's over here? A few zombies, and what about here? A few zombies. Let's have you kill these zombies off, just in case. Go forward. Bonus scavenge materials, 10. Ooh, that's a good scavenge right there. Who was that? Oh, fuck. I just skipped the <laughs> mission thing. Oh, I wish I could go back to that. Oh, I might be able to. Uh, yeah, so she was able to uh, get some more items because of her trade. I, I added a... I admit I doubted Sarah's compulsive hoarding would ever be useful, but her eye for junk and any sane person would overlook has paid off again. We got plus 10 materials due to her. And she also got fun to regular things, and then Trailer Park has been reclaimed. And then we scouted that area out. Yeah, so we missed out on the halfway there story, unfortunately. If you guys want to go back and just pause it, then go right on ahead. Um, so you're going to come over here and now... Ooh, it's 19 zombies, that's a problem. You guys go in here and neutralize the zombies because we want to reclaim that school so we have more people learning different things. So you're farming, you're scavenging, you're trying to reclaim, and you are done scouting up there. So go and scout this field then. Okay, you're researching. Alright, everything is good here. So, we'll call it an episode here today, guys. Actually, wait a second. You need something to do, right? Well, you have to wait till they kill these zombies off, which is going to take, you know, under two days. So, meanwhile, maybe you might want to just reclaim, or help this guy reclaim a bit. That seems like a pretty good pastime right there. Alright guys, so let's call an episode here today. Uh, we had some more progress, we got some more areas under our cover. We were able to fend off one of those big assaults, so that's always good. And we have a lot of ground to still cover, but apparently we're halfway there, so... I don't know when the faction wars are going to get involved, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you do, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave some comments, leave some tips. Always really appreciative. Other than that, I will catch you next time.